What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys are freaking crushing it today. Um, I'm going to walk you through, and this might be a longer video, man. This might be a longer video, but it is what it is. This is just stuff that I'm already doing, man. I'm just documenting what I'm already doing um, when it comes to building my business. Okay, so this is simply, I'm going to walk you through how I package up a sales funnel and either sell it or simply share it. And I'll kind of tell you why I kind of just share it. And, and shit, let me just tell you now, the biggest difference is for one, well, I mean, it, it, it kind of, it just comes down to your business model. It just comes down to how, how you want to, I guess, make money on it because a sales funnel, first of all, is literally the most powerful tool that any business can have online. That's the bottom line. Any business today, man, 2020 and beyond, it's all about capturing a lead or making a sell online. And that's going to happen through a sales funnel. It's going to happen through some type of web page or some type of simple sales funnel. And, and that's why you've just seen over the last couple of years, you've seen um, softwares completely explode. Click funnels, for example, Kartra, for example, because now businesses are understanding that their website, their, their traditional quote unquote website is not doing it for them. Um, information websites are, are, are really great for, for information, informational purposes. That's it. If you want to give some, some information about yourself, you're building a personal brand and you want to, you want to direct people to your, to your, to your blog, um, just to give people information that's that's kind of that's kind of one huge benefit of it is is information purposes but if you're trying to actually make a sell or you're trying to capture a lead which are the num the two reasons why a business needs to be online in the first place is to either make a sell online or capture a lead online that's going to happen from a sales funnel now on a website let's say for example a business just has a normal website the biggest, biggest advantage, like for example, on my website, when it comes to my, my personal brand and, 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 and what I'm doing as far as just building this, this actual name, Inspired Digital, the only reason why I have this website, it's a simple website. Now, it drives, it drives people to my three products, right? It drives people to my three products, FB Ads for Beginners, Digital Agency Blueprint, The Social Real Estate Agent. So, so it drives people to those three particular products, but this one page is all that it is. And the whole reason why I even have it, so for example, if I'm a company, which I am, and I have a website, okay, here's my website, but the whole reason why I even have it is so I can Facebook pixel you and track people that are viewing my page, okay? So I can then create a custom audience and retarget you guys in the future with Facebook ads or Instagram ads. That's the only reason why. So when a business says, hey, I have a website, the very first thing you wanna do is check if they have a Facebook pixel tracking it, okay? And if they don't have a Facebook pixel, it blows my mind when I look at websites and they don't even have a face, they don't even have their Facebook pixel on the page and it's like dude you have this random website mr business owner which ain't doing anything for you you think you have an online presence but it's not making you sales it's not capturing leads and you're not tracking anyone with your facebook pixel it blows my mind you guys on how many businesses are still operating that way online and they think they have some type of internet presence they don't. And that's where you as a dig digital marketer can obviously bring value to them because they're missing these most important basics. So basic website, it's not going to do anything for anyone. Okay. Especially if your Facebook pixel is not tracking. And so I have my Facebook pixel on this page, um, just so I can, I can, I can retarget you guys in the future. It's not to make a sell on this page. Now, and, and for, for sure, I'm not driving paid advertising to this page. Um, I guess I could. I could because, again, my Facebook pixel is tracking everything. So if I really wanted to, I can run paid traffic to the page just for the hell of it, but, but mainly to, to capture the data of everyone visiting it so I can then retarget. That's, that, that would be the only reason, the only, only reason. I've spoken to people, to business owners that, that, are, that, are, that, are, that are building blogs, and then I go look at their blog page, and their Facebook pixel is not tracking anything. And I'm like, dude, why are, and they're not running paid traffic to it either. And, 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 and these are people that think they're doing it. They think they're doing it, which, it, dude, it's like, you're not doing it, dude. Don't lie to me. No, you're not. You're not doing it. You know what I mean? And so these simple things, you guys, 
are simple to us as digital marketers, but to the small business owner or even the business, the, the medium sized business owner, these are things that they're not even paying attention to. And a lot of them don't even know. And, and again, it's the whole reason why they're not succeeding online with a basic website. Okay. So, so Depend on how you want to kind of package this all up. You can literally build up a sales funnel inside of Kartra, which I'm going to show you how I do it. I'm going to package it all up and I could take that package and sell it, right? I could sell it. I could sell it for 500 bucks. I can sell it depending on the business. I can sell it for a thousand dollars here, Mr. Business owner. Here's a complete sales funnel with the form, the list, your email sequence, the thank you page, the opt-in page, everything is designed. Dude, there's value to that, man. There is value, value, value to that. And you can literally sell it, in my opinion, anywhere from let's just call it a, a hundred bucks to a thousand bucks. That's the price point. A hundred to a thousand dollars, depending on the business, they will buy that from you for sure. And why? Again, because they understand that a or actually I don't even know if they understand, but this is gonna be part of your explanation. You're going to simply explain, dude, it's going to do two things for you. Number one, it's either going to make you a sell, which is all you care about, Mr. Business Owner, or number two, it's going to capture a lead, which is what you have to be doing in 2020. You have to be capturing leads. You have to be building an email list. Bottom line, that's where what it is, okay? So selling it and justifying the price is not going to be an issue at all when you can really explain it and explain the simple purposes of it. Um, so number one, you can either sell them this entire sales funnel that I'm going to show you how I put together, or depending if you're just an affiliate marketer like I am, I'm not really in the business of selling funnels, which shit, I, to tell you the truth, I, I, I should be, but, but, but I'm not. That's not really part of my, my product line at all. Um, even though I can easily do that. Um, I'm going to show you guys how, how, how to do it. But um, my whole thing is putting it together and giving it to people. Like I want to give it to you in hopes of you keeping it. Because when you, give a, when you give a sales funnel to somebody or a landing page to somebody and you share it with them, they have to have an account on that software. So with ClickFunnels, you build up a sales funnel in ClickFunnels and you can share it with people, but in order for them to keep it, they have to be monthly, they have to be subscribed to the monthly software service, which is ClickFunnels. In Kartra's case, it's the same exact thing. If I share a sales funnel with you and you like it, you can do the 14 day trial for sure and play around with it. But in order for you to keep it, you need the monthly subscription. And so where I am banking is on the monthly commission of that affiliate of that refer referral. I'm going to, I'm going to simply share my funnel with them in hopes of them keeping it and subscribing onto Kartra, which allows me to make a monthly commission. Now, obviously it's a small commission, right? 40 bucks a month, but my whole goal is to build that up. I love residual income. And if you caught my last video, my, my Kartra income, you know, surpassed a little over 600 bucks and that's a monthly residual income. I like that monthly passive income than versus having to sell you something up front. Now, if I sold it for you, sold it to you for a thousand bucks, of course, that's a way different, way better profit margin, right? For sure. But I'm just playing the long-term game. I want that person to be successful. I want them to be on the platform. I want them to keep the monthly subscription. And I just want to make a commission every month on them. That's kind of, you know, my whole, my whole strategy. But again, you can do it however you want. Um, either sell it to them up front or just simply give it to them for free and tell them to get onto the monthly subscription. Okay. And that's going to allow you to make a monthly, a monthly commission. So here's what I'm going to do, you guys. Here's what I'm going to do. I am going to simply show you how I'm going to package up, um, a funnel here and I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to walk you through all the assets all the components of a of a package of an actual sales funnel because it's not just the th the the opt-in page and the thank you page those are just two assets every single component within the package within the funnel is it's called an asset okay so when it comes to a, a landing page you have the opt-in page which let's say for example is is this one Simple opt-in page, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do some editing here. I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how I edit the page, um, because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna share this exact this exact one. I'm gonna I'm gonna change it up just a little bit. Um, but you have the opt-in page. Someone comes to the opt-in page, send me the list, and they opt in. Right. This is a simple opt-in page, and then when they opt in and give up their name and email, 
then they're taken to a thank you page. Normally that's what you hear about when you hear about landing pages and sales funnels, the opt-in page, the thank you page, but there's a little bit more, there's a little bit more to it. Okay. Which, which consists of the email list. When that person opts in, they go to a very specific list. That list is also considered an asset. So I'm going to package up the, the list with it as well. When that person's on a list, you can then set up a sequence of automated emails that go out over the next few days, and that's considered your autoresponder, your sequence. Okay, so I'm going to package that up as well. So, um, and then and then this 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 right here where you take the name and email, this is called a form. So the form is considered an asset as well. I'm going to package that up. So once I have it all said and done, this is all going to be one package, which, which again I can then sell to an individual, to a business owner, or I can simply share it with them and give it to them for free and just say, hey man, here's a funnel that I built for you. Check it out, play around with it, get yourself onto the 14 day trial. And if you really see, you know, progress or, or, or if it, it, if, if it's really, you know, generating leads for you or making a sell for you, you're going to obviously want to keep it. And that's when you set up your, you know, your, your, your monthly subscription. And then I justify the cost of it as well, man. I'm like, dude, $99 to run your entire online operation is a joke. I tell it to people, man. And I say, dude, if you refer it to a few, just a handful of other business owners, dude, if you do the math, refer it to three people, you know, you're making $40 each. There goes your, the cost of your, of, your, of your overhead, of your expense, right? So it's not even an expense. It's an investment. When I'm, talking to, when I'm consulting with business owners, which I consult with business owners every single freaking day, I tell them, man, I'm like, dude, we're now in 2020. The only two marketing expenses you need, I tell this to people with freaking all my heart and all my passion because this is what I truly, truly believe in. I speak to local business owners, right? Little, small, local business owners. And I tell them, I say, dude, your only two expenses going into 2020 needs to be your Facebook advertising or some type of paid online traffic, which is going to be social media. It's either going to be Facebook ads. It's going to be Instagram ads. It's going to be YouTube ads. And then Google ads is part of YouTube ads. So it's really those three, Facebook, Instagram, or YouTube and or YouTube. I say, dude, Pick one and, and, and let's start running at least one of them. Let's start running Facebook ads. That's your number one expense, right? And then your, your second expense is your landing page software. Other than that, man, there's nothing else you need. Like there's nothing else you need. I, I consult with these business owners that are spending tens of thousands of dollars offline. Flyers, billboard, a bus bench, a local event, you know, having these, having these random freaking conferences just to try to get people into a room to pitch them. I'm like, dude, you're spending way too much money on old school offline marketing where that's not where it's at anymore, man. You can get your message across at a fraction by doing some simple social media paid marketing. And so going into the new year, man, going into the new decade, I tell people, dude, that's where your expenses need to be. That's your only expense is online social media advertising and your landing page software. That's it. Other than that, man, you you don't need to you don't you don't need to be spending money on anything else. And I tell us I tell us to them with in, in my most professional, humble opinion. Like this is what I've been doing for the for for the past 20 years is marketing. I know every offline marketing you could possibly spend money on, and none of it is worth it. And so this is where we're at now, man. And, and that, and, and, and my, by me telling that to them, it's like, dude, okay. They're, they, they, they understand it. It makes sense to them. And it justifies the $99 a month, you know, investment that they're going to be making into their landing page and email autoresponder software. You know, it's a no brainer. It's a complete no brainer. So I'm going to show you how I package all this up. First, I'm going to do some simple editing to this uh, page right here. Um, and so I have in my pages, you come in a car tray, you click on my pages, and then you can set up all these different categories where all these pages, like if I go to all categories and it, it, it just shows every landing page that I have, pages, landing pages, thank you pages, you know, all these different pages that I've created inside of Kartra, I can break it down in categories, which I have. Um, and in this category, it's shared funnels. So when you come in here and you just click, click, click on the green one, you, let's say we come in here and we want to set up a new, a new squeeze page. And let's say 
I want this to be my squeeze page. I click on that. And then this is where I can simply launch builder and then it'll, it'll um, ask me which category I want to put it in. And, and, and if I don't have that category set up, then it'll, it'll ask me to set up a new category and then I can, I can put everything, I can dump everything into that one category. And so these are all pages that I plan on sharing. And so I created a category called shared funnels. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a simple image and all I do is I go to Google and I typed in luxury homes. So depending on your industry, you know, whatever the hell you guys are doing or selling, you know, you can simply grab some beautiful images, you know, from Google. And so what I want to do is I want to, let's see what this one looks like. I want to grab an image. Let's see if, um, let's see if I can find an image that will look good on the back, on the background of, of this. Okay. Now what I want to do is I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get two different images. I'm going to get two different images and let's see if I can find, I don't want something too, too crazy. Um, let's see if I can find, actually, I like this one. Let's go with this one. Let's see if I can, if I can just save image. I'm going to save image there and then I'm going to yeah I'll save it there. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to come into the actual page. So let's click on that and edit. And then, so again, this is where I can select the category. So if I don't have that category, I can manage my categories and create a new one. And so I can name the page and that's the name of the page. So I come into, into this builder and I'm going to simply add that image to the background. So all I'm going to do really here, you guys, is show you some basic editing and then, and then show you how I package everything up. Okay, so thanks for joining me today. Okay, so I'm going to come in here and then what I always want to do first also is always make sure that the tab... You see up here at the tab, the, the top, it says buyer leads, no listing. I want to, I want to um, make sure that that tab says something um, 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 appropriate or says something that's, um, that's um, what's the word I'm looking for? I want that to be a credible name, right? I don't want it to be buyer leads, no listing. I don't want the person coming to the page, the, the visitor that I don't want them to see that buyer leads, no listing. I'm going to put, I'm going to name it. Um, let's see the title, the headline, welcome to San Diego homes under 300 K. I'm going to put, um, homes under 300 K. That's what I'm going to name the tab. So as I, so right now the tab is up here. This is what people see buyer leads, no listings. I'm going to change that to homes under 300 K. Okay, so that's going to be the tab. That's going to be what people see. And then also the image, the social media image. If people select, if people share the link on social media, that image that shows is super, super important. So I'm going to make sure that that image reflects the page. So let's go with, um, Let's go with the image that I'm going to put on the actual homepage. I'm going to make that be the social media image that people will see when they share it as well. So I'm going to upload it there. I'm going to select it and then I'm going to hit confirm. And then I'm going to apply. Okay. So let me come over here and act, hit actions, hit save progress. And then, okay, so we got that. Now let's change the image real quick. We come over here and click on the red one, click on edit. And let me change that background image really quick. So the background, we're going to go image selected and we're going to hit that one right there. And we're going to confirm. And then we're going to come down here, hit apply. And there is that image. So now let me save. 
So it looks good right there. Let me also change this. Copyrights. I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go. I'll just put inspired digital. Oops. Too much damn coffee. Inspired digital. Okay. And let's change this to 2020. Okay. So that's that. And then you, you, your privacy policy, obviously you want to have that set up. Um, terms of use. Okay, cool. So we got that. We got that. We got that. The list, make sure that this form, send me the list. We want to make sure that it's going to the correct form. Okay. So the link, it's coming to this page right here. Perfect. So it's going to opt in. It's going to opt in the form. We're going to edit this, make sure that it's the correct form. Buyer leads, no listing. Perfect. Apply. Okay. So we got that. And then we're going to hit done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to save progress. And then I'm going to publish live. Okay. So that right there, then if I close this out and I come over to the actual page, because I already have it up over here, this is what it used to look like. And then now I'm going to refresh it. And now this is what it looks like now. Okay. So then you see up, the, up, up here at the tab, homes under 300K. So I changed the tab. So that looks better for the general public whenever they see it. They, they, they see that. Now I can always change the domain as well. I'm gonna leave it as the default domain for now. That's totally fine. But let's say for example, if I go out there and, and, and here's what you can do, go to GoDaddy. Um, you can always get your own domain. So if I go to, if I go to um, you wanna go to Google first, go to Google and you're gonna Google search it. Make sure you Google search it, okay? So cheap domain, you'll see um, right here at the top, Normally, let's see, where is it at? I've done this a million times and maybe GoDaddy is finally saying, you know what, dude, you got too many damn discounts. But normally I get all mine through GoDaddy. And normally there's a 99 cent discount, but it looks like they're not promoting that discount anymore. Um, and a lot of you guys probably go through Namecheap as well, but I just, I, I've just been going through GoDaddy forever. And normally when I do that, it's, it's 99 cents, but either, or you can kind of figure it out, try to get a discount code. If you can't, then just, you know, get the domain, but you can always have your name, your, for, your domain, obviously forward to this, but I'm going to keep it as the Kartra default URL for now. Okay. So that right there is how it looks now, you guys. Um, and that's the opt-in page, okay? So that's the opt-in page. So let's get out of this one. Let's get out of this one and let's um, go to the thank you page. So let's come back to our category. All categories, we're gonna go down to shared funnels. And now let's do a little bit of editing real quick to the thank you page. Okay, so we can name it right there. We're gonna edit. This coffee has me feeling cracked out. That's when you know you're drinking the good shit. Man, whoo. All right, so let's edit this real quick, you guys, and then I'm gonna package it all up and then we'll be done. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna edit that background image and then maybe maybe it's a, a little bit of the text. Let's see. And, and here's my whole strategy with this one as well. Um, let me show you. Okay. So simple, simple. Thank you page. Right. And then what I want to do also is let me see here. I have it on that one. That's a whole different one. But this, the whole call to action is to get them to click here. So we'll just, we'll just leave it the way it is right now. And then let me um, 
change out that background image. And what I want to do is let me grab a different image. Let me grab a different image. I'm going to go luxury homes interior. Let's see if I can find something beautiful um, of the inside. Now, our home, it looks like this one right here, right? Beautiful, you know, stucco. I don't know what the hell that, that exterior is, if that's rock or what, but freaking awesome looking house, right? I want to have something matching that. So let's see if I can just find... Um, Let's go with, and I'm not looking for, even though I typed in luxury, this is giving me like freaking multi-million dollar, you know, freaking homes. Let's see if I can just go with this one. Yeah, that looks awesome. Let's go with, damn, it's a little blurry shit. Oh, that would have been a good one. Let's go with, um. Let's go with this one. Let's see if I can grab if I can grab that one. Um, let's see if this one will look good on it. Okay, so we'll, let's come over to the page and let's hit the background image selected and let's upload that image. Okay, so let's upload that. Let's see if we can. Let's select that one, select it, and then we hit confirm, and then we hit down here, apply. So let's see what that would look like. Okay, so not, not bad, not bad. Not bad. We'll leave it. We'll leave it like that. That's all good. And then the settings, the tab, the tab, the tab says, thank you. So that's fine. That's why. So let's, and so here's how I have this one set up. Here's my strategy with this one. They opt in, right? They opt in. Thank you for your interest. Help me put together some homes for you. They click here and they go to your Facebook messenger where in the Facebook messenger, I have set up a many chat and a handful of, of, of automated messages that are, that, are, that, are, that are designed to ask questions and get that person to, to reply. Okay, so in here, I click on the link and it's going to this mini chat right here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is let me, let me go to, let me, make, let me just grab the mini chat link again. And this is where you get your mini chat uh, link. You go to your Facebook business page. Everyone has one by default. Um, you go to your business page, you click on about, and you'll see your messenger um, link right there. So click on about, and here is my um, mini chat link right here okay so this is people can directly open a messenger conversation with you through this link you can place an m.me link anywhere website app flyer sms email etc to help someone find you more easily in messenger so i'm going to grab this link right here this is the one i want i'm going to copy that and then i'm going to bring it over here and i'm going to paste it there okay so and i'm going to open it in a new tab apply and then I'm going to come over here and save progress. X out of that. And I'm going to hit publish live. Okay. So now let's close this out. Let's X out of this. Return to dashboard. Exit. And then now we have our opt-in page. And then we have our thank you page. So when I refresh this, this is going to be updated. So let's refresh this page here. And there is our new thank you page. So thank you for your interest. Help me put together some homes for you. They click here and, it's, and it opens up Facebook Messenger where again, through the many chat series will be a handful of messages that are automated that are, that are getting that person to reply 
and automate the entire thing, okay? So right when they hit get started, boom, a handful of messages will, will come out, okay? So that's how I set up this specific one. Um, and so just depend on your strategy, man. Depend on what you're giving away. You're taking people to an opt-in page. Welcome to the San Diego homes under 300K list. Some of these homes even qualify for special financing. Send me the list. So if you actually have a PDF of the list, okay, they can come here, they opt in, you take them to a thank you page, and then rather than having a button right here, you know, that's taking them to the messenger, for example, you could just have thank you for your interest. I put together a handful of, of homes for you. Please check your email to access the list. And then you can have the email autoresponder automatically send them the list, which is a PDF, and you can do it all through your, through your email autoresponder. So that's another way you can do it, um, or you can do it this way. And also what you can do, this could be a, a calendar link. This could be a button to take people to your calendar. You know, so if you're getting people to schedule an appointment, if your whole objective is to get people to schedule an appointment, this can be a button which takes them to your calendar and gets people to schedule appointments. All automated, all on automation, you guys. This is powerful stuff, man. And it's simple stuff. And I'm telling you, businesses need this. Businesses will pay you for it. Businesses will pay for this monthly and, 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 and you can really bring a, a tremendous amount of value to people by showing them these simple pages, simple, simple pages. So here's what I'm going to do, man. We, uh, we updated the thank you, the opt-in page. We updated the thank you page. And so now let's simply package up our funnel. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to simply um, um, package up those two pages and let's make sure we have the form um buyer leads okay so that's that's the form right there and then i want to make sure that i have the list and if i don't have a list buyer leads buyer leads buyer leads no listings there's the list and all i did is i simply click on the green one and created the list that's it um, so when anyone comes to this page and they opt in, they're automatically put on that list, okay? Now, when they opt in, they're put on that list. Also, they're put into a very specific email sequence, which are, which, which are a handful of emails that are set up to go out over the next few days. Now, that's what we need to set up. We need to set up the email sequence because that's not, that's not set up here. So let's, let's do that. So let's hit the green button. And this is going to be buyer leads, buyer leads, no listings. Okay, so thank you for um, thank you for inquiring. Thank you for inquiring. And this is the public description. This is right here. What your users will see when they want to unsubscribe from this list or sequence. Describe the purpose and benefits of this newsletter so that they can better remember the reasons uh, they originally subscribed. So right here, thank you for inquiring on homes under 300K. Okay, so that's the public description. That's what they'll see if they ever do go to unsubscribe. Thank you for inquiring on homes under 300K. Okay, so let's hit the green button. And this is how you put together a simple sequence. Um, and you can set it up however you want. You can have the email go out. So for example, they opt in, they opt in, right? Um, they opt in and they can receive an email right away, which I'm gonna show you how to set that up. Um, or they can opt in and receive an email tomorrow or a few days later or a few hours later. They receive an email and then and then two days later they receive another one one day later they receive another one so the sequence you can set those those days up and the hours however you wish which is super super powerful um one great strategy is to send one every day or send one every two days send one email every three days um i kind of have mine set up that way where i'm on some of my campaigns i have an email that's set up the sequence it's set up to go out every every other day 
I have one that's set up to go out every day. I have one sequence that is set up to go out every three days. An email, a new email goes out every three days. So you can set this part up however you wish. Now the sequence, the starting rule is people who opt in to a specific form. So they're going to opt in to buyer leads, no listing. I can have a tag. I can, I can, I can um, um, set it up where it's based on a tag or it's based on a list, right? We have the list set up. So I can tell the system, anyone that lands on this email list, make sure that this sequence goes out to them. Or it could be based on an order. It could be based on a page visit, on a sequence, on an automation. So we'll, we'll keep it simple and have it based on this buyer lead opt-in form. So we're going to add that. And then we're going to hit the, the save button. And then now we're in the building of it. So this can go by text as well. So if I send someone to this page and I ask for the phone number, I don't normally do that because again, if you put yourself in the consumer's shoes, you don't be going to pages and giving up your phone number for the first time. You know what I mean? So normally as a consumer, we don't give up our phone number right away, depending on what it is, but normally on just random marketing, direct response marketing, you're not giving your phone number up at all. Name and email, no problem, but phone number, that's, that's a little bit more personal. So normally it's not, it's not the landing page. It's not the opt-in form where you want to ask for the phone number um, at all. But if you are, then, you know, this could be based on an SMS. So if I have the phone number, I can, I can send a text out, you know what I mean? Getting that person to freaking getting that inf getting information to that person via text. I can for sure do that. Um, and there's this different setups you can do over here, but we're going to start with the basic one, which is send an email. So they opt in, we can choose, and we're going to do it through the form. We can choose to have them get an email right away or not. Okay. Or we can set it up here when they opt in, send them this email right away. Like, don't wait. Like, don't wait any days. Don't wait any hours. Send them the email the moment they opt into that form. We can set it up that way as well. So in this case, I'm going to have it go out a day later. One day later, this email is going to go out. And I haven't wrote the email just yet, and I'm going to show you how we do it. And I, I normally leave this part by default. I leave it here. Kartra will determine when to send out that email on what day at what time, and they do a great job doing it. So I'm going to leave it there. The communication, this is going to be um, day one. And that's going to be just the, the name of the broadcast. I'm going to hit next. And then it's going to go out from this email. Now, when you set this up, this email autoresponder, um, and even the email that goes out right away, because there is a difference there. Well, let me not confuse you. No matter how you're setting out the email, if you're sending, sending it out right away or, or if we're going a day later or an hour later, it doesn't matter. When you set that up through Kartra, this email has to be from your actual domain. It has to be a domain email. It cannot be a Google or a Gmail. I mean, it can't be a Gmail email or a Yahoo email or a Hotmail. You want to have this set up um, um, under your professional.com name. And, and I have a video that that's showing you how to do that. In fact, stay to the end of this video. I'll tie that to the end on how to, how to, how to set up your, your custom email, how to set up a, 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 a um, what did I call it? How to set up your email forwarding that you'll see that come up at the end of this video. So stay to the end and you're going to want to do this for sure, man. You got to get your.com. If you already have your.com, make sure you have your email set up because no matter what email autoresponder you're using, whether it's Kartra, MailChimp or whatever, I'm 99% sure it all has to be coming from a professional.com email, your domain. Okay. So you're going to want to know how to set up the email forwarding no matter what. Okay. And then, and, and you'll see that video pop up at the end over, you know, once we're, once this one's over. So this right here, we'll just go, um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. We'll leave it at that. Um, and then we'll hit next. And then we're going to send if we're going to send if now we're going to tell the system, okay, who, who are we sending it to? Even though we set up the starting rule, send it to people who opt in. Here's what happens sometimes. What if a person opts in and then automatically they unsubscribe, but the sequence is sending it out to people who opted in, right? But they unsubscribe three minutes later. 
So the, the way I normally set this up is I have it under subscribed. I only send it if they're subscribed to the list. So here it is right here. Here's the list we had set up. Buyer leads, no listings. So if they're subscribed to that list, they didn't unsubscribe, they're still subscribed, then this email will trigger tomorrow, a day later, right? Um, so, I'm, so that's how I set it up. You want to make sure you know, you're, you're not sending emails to people who, who are no longer on that list. Um, because it just comes down to how, how you set up the starting rule. I could have easily set up the starting rule under people on the list, but I did it under people who opted in to the form, right? So I wanna make sure, and it's gonna be a single email. So we hit next. And then this is where we can send out the email. I can copy this, I can go into here, I can hit, I can, I, I can put first name, Jack. Thank you, thank you for, your interest and then right here is where i can also call them out by their first name and i can keep it basic under text like this which is normally what i do thank you thank you for your interest in homes under 300k and then I can, I can, you know, write more later, but I can keep a basic text like this, or I can go to advanced and get really, really pretty with the damn templates, which I normally don't do. But if you come in here, design templates, you look at full templates, there's all these different templates that I can just simply drag over and freaking and, and, and edit just like I would edit a page. Really, really awesome, beautiful images, beautiful templates that are already put together for you. All I do is click it and drag it over and start building around that template. And then I can save the template and use that over and over and over for every email. But what I'm going to do in this case, I'm going to just leave it basic and, and it's just going to be basic text. Okay. So you can write out that email. Again, when it comes to these email sequences, I consult with business owners all the time. Shout out to my buddy, uh, Kelly, Kelly, you know, came to me and he's all, David, can you help me with this whole Kartra thing? Can you help me put together these emails? And I said, sure. But when it comes to, to, to your business, no one knows your business better than you, right? So what you want to do is put yourself in the consumer's shoes. If you opted into something like this, what would be some good information that you'd want to know or want to want to learn over the next few days? If, if, if someone were to email you, right? If you opt in for homes, okay, great. You get this email. And then tomorrow it could be an email based on, Hey Jack, what'd you think about the homes that I sent you yesterday? Right? Make sure that you're in the, 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 the shoes of the consumer. That's what you want to set up on your email autoresponder. Don't email them a bunch of random stuff that had nothing to do with what they opted in on. You want to keep it, keep it congruent and keep it on the same page. And you don't have to set up too many emails. I mean, it just depends on what you want to do. Some of my campaigns, you opt into my page and I have literally 25 emails set up, ready to go. One goes out every three days. So, so it just depends on how, how deep you want to go. You can set up an email autoresponder, this sequence where there's only five emails that go out one every other day for the next, you know, until five go out. It all depends on what you want to do, how, how deep you want to take it. And, and, and in the emails, the whole, the whole objective, the whole objective, in my opinion, is to give value and a call to action. Okay, so one email could be, hey, Jack, thank you for your interest in homes under 300K. Here's a list. Click here. You're going to enjoy it. Let me know if you need anything. That's one value-based email that goes out. The second type of email that's going to go out is going to be, let's say, for example, tomorrow. And that email goes out tomorrow, and it says, hey, Jack, thank you for inquiring yesterday on homes under 300K. I just want to let you know, hey man, my schedule is wide open over the next few days. I'd love to talk to you and really find out your goals and see what you're looking to do. And, and in that email will be a link where Jack can click on and it goes straight to your calendar. That's, that's the call to action. That's the second call to action. So back to my buddy, Kelly, Kelly was like, David, I'm not good at copywriting. I'm not good at writing out emails. I'm like, dude, but this is your business. You know your client better than anyone. 
you need to put yourself in, the, in, in, in their shoes. And what would you want to know over the next few days if you opted into something like this? Break that down into a handful of emails with two things in mind. Number one, value-based email. And then number two, call to action. And if that call to action is to get them to schedule an appointment, there's a link for your calendar. If that call to action is to get them to buy something, there's a link to your shopping cart. If, if, if the call to action is to get them to register for a webinar or watch a video, there's the link to watch that or to register for the webinar. So there's always a call to action. That's what these emails are all based on, man. Value and call to action. That's the whole, the whole purpose of, of, of your email autoresponder. You're not just sending out random emails just for the hell of it. No, dude. I'm educating, I'm bringing value, I'm bringing value, I'm bringing value, and there's also gonna be call to actions to either get you on the phone, if that's the, you know, how you operate your business, or it's gonna be, you know, emails to get you to register for something or to buy something. Bottom line, those are your emails. So you wanna set up a, a, a handful that are, that are automated, that are, that are already ready to go out, man, and that's, that's the whole power of online automation. Filling the funnel, filling the funnel, which is getting people to this page with paid traffic. That's what it's all about, man, is running that paid traffic, getting tons and tons and tons of people to the top of the funnel. And then once they opt in, now they're in your funnel receiving these emails over the next few days, over the next few weeks, shit, over the next few years. And, and, and right now we're setting up the simple email autoresponder and I can set up as many as I want right now or, and, and, and I can always come back to it and add more emails to, 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 to it. So if I, if I come in right now and set up three emails, it's, and, and they're designed to go out every other day. So, so, so tomorrow they're going to get one email. The, the next day they're going to get one email. The next day they're going to get an, another email. And those are the three emails that I set up. If I ever want to come back and add to that, then I'm going to add a fourth. I, I can add a fifth. I can add a sixth. That's the power of the email autoresponder, man, is you want to be able to automate this stuff. And, 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 and again, depending on your business, wake up. Like my whole dream is literally to be able to automate this for my business and wake up to appointments every day because people are in my funnel. They're receiving my emails and they're clicking on the damn link and scheduling appointments on my calendar. And all I'm doing is waking up every day to a, to a full calendar. And all I, and all I did was ran Facebook ads, ran Instagram ads, ran, ran freaking um, YouTube ads, right? push a damn button and, and fill up the top of the funnel. So the back of the funnel is, is giving me what I want, which are, which are appointments, for example, you know what I mean? Or reg or, or registrations to a webinar. Um, again, just depend on your model, man, depend on your model. But that's why, man, the landing page and the email autoresponder is the most important, man. And again, the whole purpose of this video is to show you how to package it all up and sell it to a business owner or, package it all up and simply share it with them in hopes of them keeping it and you making that monthly affiliate commission. Okay. So let's get this thing going, man. That's all I'll put, put for the sake of this, of this video. Um, and then I can always send a test email and, and, and you always want to do that for sure is always send a test email, um, to make sure that, that, that you receive it. Um, we click create and then we're going to come down here and activate it. Okay, so let's, let's click on the three dots. We click on activate, and then we drag the line down and connect it. And let's do one last one, just for the sake of all this. So I'm gonna get one, drag it, click it, and drop it right there. It's just drag and drop, and then boom. I'm gonna wait one day. So it's gonna go, after, it's gonna go out one day after the previous one. Okay, so now I have it set up to go out every, every day, right? So I'm gonna keep those days the same. I'm going to name this one day two. I'm going to hit next. It's coming from that email. Next. And then right here again, send if subscribed to the list. And again, this is going out two days later. So sometimes people unsubscribe. I'm only going to send it to them if they're still subscribed. Okay. So I hit next. Single email. Next. And then I can simply call them out by their first name. Control V, hey Jack, just wanted 
to say hello. And then this is where they, you, I can, you know, obviously write out the email. Write out email. And then I can hit next, create, and then I'm going to simply activate this one. So let's scroll down. Hit activate. And then I'm going to drag it down so it sits right below this one. And then I'm going to connect it. And that's it, you guys. And then what I can do is I can um, I can hit this right here to arrange them so they're lined up. Okay, so I can look at it from top to bottom, or I can look at it from left to right, okay, and just build it out that way. So right now, they opt in, right? And they're going to they're and I'm going to show you through the form on how they're going to get an email right away and then and then and then tomorrow they're going to get day 1 the next day they're going to get day 2 and you could take this out as far as you want man as far as you want and I'm saying the whole objective is to bring value via email to build a relationship to really get to know your your audience and then also number 2 call to action get them to click on the link for the calendar get them to get them to buy something get them to register for a webinar depending on what you're doing right so um, and you know what? Let's do that real quick. Let's, let's, let, I'm going to do one last one. I'm going to do one last one because that right there is going to be, um, let's drop it down right here and let's, let's do it. Let's do, let's do the calendar. Okay. So I don't think I have the calendar set up just yet, but let's wait a day. This email will go out one day after the previous one. And this is going to be day three. So now, now I'm going for the appointment. So we're going to send if they're subscribed. Okay, we're going to hit next. Single email. Next. And then... I can call them out by their name. Jack, did you receive my last email? And in these emails, you guys, I literally write them as if I'm texting my friend. Normal verbiage. I don't try to sound all professional and, and, and all that. Keep, keep it authentic. Keep it real, you guys. This is your audience. You're attracting people based on you, right? And, and depending on how professional you're trying to be, I would recommend just being yourself um, because people gravitate to people and, 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 and you don't want to try to be someone that you're not. So in my emails, I literally write them out as, 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 as the, the real way I talk. Um, some people like it, some people don't, but it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter. You're building your own audience and, and that's what matters. So in this one, I'm going to put, um, Jack, are you available this week for a quick chat. I'd love to get to know you and find out your goals. Click here and it will take you to my calendar. where you can book can schedule your best time to speak i look forward to hearing from you soon from you soon schedule here. Okay, so are you available this week for a quick chat? I'd love to get to know you and find out your goals. Click here. So what I'm going to do is I can simply, um, I'm going to bold this, and then I can link this to my calendar. Okay, so this is my Karcher calendar right here. So right when they click on that, they're going to go straight 
to my Kartra calendar where they can schedule an appointment. And then I can do it again right here. And then also what I can also do is I can, I can, I can get fancy with it and put a button and that's what you, what you'll do under, under advanced. Okay. So you'll be able to do it there. So that right there is, is I'm going to just set that up simple. Keep it that simple. Hit next, hit create. So again, in my, in my business, my whole goal is to get people on the phone, right? Um, so this is exactly, and if you're a local business owner, if you're an insurance agent, if you're a real estate agent, anything like that, um, drag it down. Your whole goal is to get people on the phone as well. So if you're in that type of client services business, this right here is how you want to do it, man. Um, again, if you're, if you're running paid traffic and filling up the top of the funnel, um, the back of the funnel is going to be automated and you'll be able to wake up with scheduled appointments. That's the whole freaking goal. Okay. So I just set up a sequence. You guys, those are three emails that are, that are set to go out um, over the next few days. And that's how, how you set up an email sequence. So let's get out of here and then let's go to the form real quick. And then we're, and then we're done. And then we're going to package it all up and now we'll be ready to rock and roll. So here's the form right here. I can easily hit the green one and create it, but I already have it right here. So I'm going to hit edit. And this form, we're going to set it up where when people opt in, the, the form is the opt-in. So when I click on send me the list, this is the form, okay? So we're going to make sure that that's set up. We can ask for as much information as we want. I can click on change and ask for all kinds of information, last name, address, all that crap. But you don't want to do that on the form um, when you're running it to paid traffic, first of all, for sure. Ask for name and email, and that's that's all you need. Okay, so save, save, and next. Confirmation, we can make it a single or a double opt-in. We'll just go with single for now. And then once they opt-in, where are they going? Are they going to um, a thank you page? So you want to make sure you tie up that thank you page. Okay, save and next. Where is it coming from? Is it coming from your email? Perfect. And then here is the welcome message. So this is the very first email that is set up to go out right away. Thank you for requesting a list of homes in San Diego under 300K. You can access it here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bold this. And this could be a link that takes them straight to your, to, your, um, to your list. If you have a PDF, for example, or if you have a, or if you have a website. If you have a website and, and your list is, is on the website, you can link them to, the, to, to your website right there. And then right here, boom, boom, boom. Okay, we're good. So this email is set to go out right away. And that's why on the email sequence, I set it up to go out a day later, right? Because they're already receiving this first one. Subscribe to a list, subscribe to a sequence. I don't need to do that part because I already set it up on the starting rules. Form design, leave that. Congratulations, we're done. Perfect. So now let's package it all up, you guys, and we're done. I'm going to click on my campaigns to the left and I'm going to go to, um, and, and so I'm going to create a whole new funnel, a whole new shared funnel. So I'm going to click on um, um, let's go, let's click on the green button. Let me check done for you real quick. These are all done for you funnels. So just like I'm doing right now, you guys, I am literally building a funnel myself and I'm going to package it all up and be able to do whatever I want with it, sell it or give it away. In Kartra, what's so powerful is that they've done a lot of the done for you. They've done a lot of these funnels for you, man, that are very, 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 um, um, detailed, um, as far as the assets, thank you page, landing page, this page, that page, lists, tags, opt-in form, freaking sequences. Depend on what you're looking to do, sell a book. All these campaigns, all these sales funnels are done for you. Kartra put together an amazing set of funnels that, that you can come in here and just simply click on the three dots and deploy. And you have that entire funnel. And all you got to do is go in there and edit everything out, obviously, but the template, the pages, all that stuff is already done for you, which is super powerful. Now, in this, in this, in this case, I'm going to go with my campaigns because it's something that I built and I'm going to simply um, um, put it, to, put it, package it all, package it all up and put it together right now. So we're going to go with campaign name, buyer leads, no listing, and it's going to be campaign author. It's going to be me, campaign description. Buyer leads 
no listing. We'll just leave that. And then we're going to click create. And then now, since I've already created all the assets, all I'm going to do now is package it all up. Okay. So I can come in here and I can give it an image thumbnail, which is what I will do because I saved that, um, I saved that image, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to add that image over here and I'm going to add this image right there. That'll be the image of it. Okay. So there's the image. And then, and then obviously you want to, you want to make it the right size and what I'll do, you know what, let me make it the right size real quick. 286 by 156. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Canva. Canva is a free website that I use literally 50 times a day. And I'm going to go to custom dimensions and I'm going to customize it. So it, so it actually fits. So we're going to go 286 by 156. Okay. 286, 286, 156, create design. Okay, so now I'm going to come in here and hit upload. And I'm going to upload that image. There it is there. And I'm going to simply drag it around so it fits. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now we're talking. Now we got a good, now we got a good, let's, let's even title it good. Now we got a, a perfect size. So let's let's download this. Download. Download. And now I can add that one. I'm so glad I did that rather than just throwing it up there the way I did. So now we're going to put this one good. And now look how it fits it. Oh, shit. It looks the same. But let's see if it changes once I save it all. Okay, so let's come up here. Hit the green one. Display image, campaign. Yeah, so we already displayed image, so let's save a next. Okay, so now, remember, everything in Kartra is integrated. Okay, so we're going to just hit, okay, I understand. And then we're going to put it together. So it's not, there's no product, but there is a list. Okay, select the list. The list is going to be buyer leads. That's the list. So I'm going to give people the list. I'm, I'm going to give people the pages. So this one is going to be buyer lead, buyer leads, no listing, add that. And then no site in particular, I'm going to go buyer leads. Thank you. I'm going to add that. That's the pages, the sequence. I'm going to simply go to buyer leads, no listing. There's the sequence, the form. I'm going to also give people the form. There's the form right there. Add it. And then um, a calendar. A calendar. I didn't set up the calendar just yet, but I want to give people. Let's just get, I'm going to just give them, let's just share that calendar as well. So I'm going to add that. That's the calendar. And then that's it. So let's save. Save and next. And here's what's crazy, man. I'm packaging all this up. I can put it in the marketplace, which allows tens of thousands of users on Kartra to view it in, in the marketplace. You come over here and you click on my affiliate promos. Watch, let me just do this. You click on my affiliate promos and then you come up here to my marketplace. That's what I'm saying, you guys. I can package this all up. Click on, click on marketplace. And I can list it in the marketplace with a price and I can sell the damn thing. That's freaking powerful. That's powerful, 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 powerful. Okay. So I'm not going to do that just yet. Uh, I'll keep it private because really my intention is just to share it with a few people that I actually know. So I'm going to hit save and next. And then um, once, you, once, once your campaign is fully configured, you can share it with other cartridge members. Okay, perfect. So Go to my campaigns. Okay, you guys. Perfect. The image looks great. There it is there. We are done. We click on this right here. 
and I can share. Okay, so copyright support, no spam. Okay, perfect. So we click on that. I click on next. And then I can generate a share code or I can share with a specific Kartra user. Now, if I, if I share it with a specific Kartra user, someone who's already on Kartra, then all I do is click on that one and put in their username. If I just want to generate a share code for anyone, and this is for you too as well, for my YouTube fam, you'll see this share code. If you want this exact funnel, then all you're going to do is click on the link in the, in the bottom. Let's uh, delete this one. We only need one. And there's the share code right here. Okay. So you'll see the link in the bottom. So this is going to be the new share code. Here's the new share code. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put close. Now I have a new share code. Okay. So now there's a share code. So if I come in here and I want to share it, let's go hit the green one generate share code there's the share code so you're going to see the share code in the description if you guys want this funnel you're more than welcome to freaking play around with it and have it all you're going to do is you're going to set up your 14-day trial so click on profit with Kartra dot online that's what you have to do first set up your 14-day trial okay set up your 14-day trial and then once you log in you're going to come down here to my campaigns you're going to click on my campaigns on the left hand side and you're going to click on done for you because it's already done for you right it's already done for you and then you're going to come over here and you're going to import and you're going to put that share code right there bam so the share code you see in the description paste it right there and and and, and then you have the entire funnel for yourselves okay all you do is you know edit the template edit the text and make it you know customize it for what you're trying to do but everything else is already set up for you so that's how you can package up a funnel you guys and sell the damn thing and make some some big upfront money. You can go into business, and you you could be funnels R us, and you could be you could you could that could be your one product line where you're building funnels for different businesses and selling it to them. That's a profitable business, profitable business. Or if you're an affiliate marketer like me, you can simply give it to people and get them on the monthly subscription and make an make an ongoing monthly residual income that way as well. So. Hopefully that helped you guys. Hopefully I brought some value to, to, to what you can do online through Kartra. Um, and I'm, I'm just excited for what you guys are going to be doing in 2020 online and even off. Remember, if you're building an offline business, landing pages, email autoresponders, these are the basic tools you need to be successful in 2020. So if you haven't even tried out Kartra, man, I don't know what you're waiting for. Profit with Kartra.online. Set up your 14-day trial, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Over and out.